Hi, Leo. Hi. Oh my gosh, it's been like forever, hasn't it? Um, remember me? Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Um, so this is for your monthly reading. This is April 2019. Yay. Um, very quickly, because I want to jump into this reading as quickly as possible. Um, but I just want to let you guys know, some of you may already know that I am a teacher. I teach at a university and school has been starting. Uh, we've been going through the motions for the new semester for like the past three weeks. So if I've been a little absent from YouTube and late on my Etsy readings, then you know what's up, right? But um, anyway, so the next two weeks, I'm going to be doing my best to really balance all of these new things that I have to do um, and uh, just make sure that we can keep it going. All right, so let's jump in. All right, so Leo, uh, let's see if this reading is for you, okay? So what I'm picking up for this reading, if this is for you, Leo, for the month of April 2019, is that I feel that maybe you may have been messing with someone or something that um, maybe you got hurt in the process. I see, oh, I keep forgetting I can move this, so let's move it. <laughs> Let's take a look here. That's where I'm looking. I'm seeing that uh, it's almost like now, uh, because of that situation, I feel like spirit is, is uh, like it looks like this like pulling cotton out and like dabbing at that pain <laughs> so you're going through a healing process if you if it hasn't started already then it will be in the month of april 2019 where you're going through a healing process for what you've been through and i want you to know that um this healing is as a result of something or someone that you were messing with that you really got hurt with and i'm i'm being led here to say or feel like i have to say that um the reason why this thing happened it, or let's put let's look at it this way this thing didn't just happen in vain this this pain didn't happen in vain it was designed to give you wisdom and i think that you're going to use this wisdom and that this wisdom was designed to kind of like a tower moment but to uh, invigorate a certain perception right so long story short this all happened as a result of you messing with something but don't be too down on yourself because it was all designed to give you a certain perspective and to give you direction in life, okay? I think that some of you were in a desert period, to be honest. Um, were you? What's a desert period? A desert period is a period in our lives where we are just kind of like, what's going on? I'm not really inspired by anything. I feel like I'm just hanging out. Nothing's happening. That's what a desert period is. And maybe you got involved in something or involved with somebody that kind of like hurt you a lot. And... It was designed to give you perspective and this direction in your life, okay? So I definitely see that there. So let's take a look here. Can you see? Okay, great. Uh, so what I'm seeing is uh, I think that you were involved with someone. Again, it could be someone or something. And I feel that you kind of got pummeled a little bit. So uh, there was almost like a pummeling. I see shame involved in that. I see shame. I also see rejection. And in many cases, the two go together. Maybe you're ashamed of something. I see some kind of, I'm, I don't know how to play this, peeping. Uh, I'll say that again. Peeping, like peeping Tom. I see some kind of peeping. Maybe somebody was surveilling you. Maybe there was something with cameras. Maybe uh, somebody looked in on you in your most private moments. Maybe some of you did, did some photo shoot, uh, video shoots, maybe sex related, that kind of got... Uh, thrown out of proportion I'm hearing or or um, something happened with it or maybe oh, what else am I seeing in this card yeah I'm just seeing some shame a fear of being who you are I feel like some of you may have maybe some of you came out of the closet maybe some of you ex ex exposed who you really are and whatever that means um, and I think, yeah, I think that, I think that as a result, you, you, maybe you were shamed or whatnot, but you took away this feeling of shame. And I think that, uh, oops, that's, <laughs> I need incense management. All right. Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you guys, um, I'm trying to start doing my readings a little bit more cold. So that means like, um, that means like instead of pre-reading looking at the narrative blah 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 which has its own merits i love doing that but i just i'm so limited on time these days that i'm actually reading as i go so there might be a, a few a little bit of downtime while i do look at the cards and i hate that personally when i'm watching readers and they do that because <laughs> i don't have time for that <laughs> but i'm gonna do my best to read quickly okay 
All right, anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, so I'm seeing also some of you may have a an eating disorder in this card. I'm seeing that. I'm seeing, uh, yeah, some of you having a breakdown of the body in some way. Um, I'm seeing an art, di uh, art installation uh, that maybe... Maybe you showed your art to the world and maybe it wasn't as well received as you wanted. I'm also seeing some kind of failure in a school setting. Maybe you didn't pass your classes. Maybe you didn't graduate. Maybe there was something that you were going after. Like I see some of you going after some kind of certificate or, or some kind of adult school situation. Something that didn't go well. I'm just seeing that in whatever aspect this is, you really got clubbed over the head with it. It's it's almost like it's almost like you really got taken out. I'm also seeing, yeah. So maybe some of you, God bless you, maybe you may have gotten into some kind of physical alteration with somebody. And maybe maybe one of you, because it's so specific, right? Um, maybe over a relationship. I'm seeing that being like maybe you got jumped. Maybe you weren't expecting it. And I see you on the mend. I see in that case in particular, yeah, that, that doesn't look so good. I, I see, you know, a lot of bruising and as a result, a lot of low feelings about yourself. Um, a lot of, you know, depression. Uh, um, yeah, a lot of people go, just so you guys know, when we do readings, you know, a lot of people that go through just such varied experiences right there's a dynamic that pulls you all together in one reading but the the details are just so different um let's see what else i heard the word jelly beans for somebody so i'll just leave that there <laughs> jelly beans jelly beans anybody um yeah i'm just seeing a lot of oh i'm hearing the word psychedelics thank you so anybody hitting that you know psychedelic button um uh, what else? Remember the theme here is that somebody, you guys got involved in something or with someone or some event that, that really, you know, knocked you down. And um, I see that this was, I hate to say it, you know, especially in the case of this physical alteration I'm picking up, which on a, in a sense just doesn't seem fair, to be honest, you know. Um, but what I'm hearing is uh, this was, for all of you, designed to bring in a greater sense of perception it's almost like it was a tower moment that was designed to give you direction in your life so here we are all of us i want us to take a deep breath breathe out and i want us to in our own place where we are ask first of all if this is resonating for you i'm talking to you ask what is it that i feel i got from this situation what is it right i think the answer will reveal itself to you if it hasn't as yet um but I see either way, yeah, so, yeah, for some of you, you may be feeling depressed. I'm seeing a car, a conversation surrounding a car um, that maybe didn't go too well. i um, seeing lost property for some of you. I'm hearing the word jagged edges, so maybe that resonates. Uh, I'm also seeing property, uh, if there's a swamp property or a property that had something to do with swampland or, I don't know, Florida, like, you know, the Everglades or something like that or, or the bayou in, in Louisiana, you know, some, some kind of something I'm getting property related, maybe lost property, you lost it or just something to that effect. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at that. I'm actually conversing with spirits. <laughs> I'm talking, I sl slipped out for a second to talk to them, so, um, yeah, thanks, Spirit. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what else is there? Um, just a lot, there's a lot, that's the realm of a personal reading, but just to show you guys an idea of the differences, there are some differences in details, okay? Um, anyway, yeah, let's continue. Um, yeah, I'm seeing that there's value in what it is that you were able to glean. This 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 event, as as tough it as it was or has been, and for all for you guys, I feel that if this resonates for you, I feel like this is an event. If for a lot of you, it's an event that happened, right? Uh, for some of you, it could have been a situation that you were involved in. But if you think about it, it developed not too long ago, like maybe the 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 most would be three months right over a span of three months like it was building and just you know whatever i just definitely see i'm going to show you these cards because you guys are just so sweet and i just think why not right the way i'm seeing these cards 
is like it looks like spirit it this card says healing it looks like they're pulling out some cotton and it's almost like if this is you all battered and bruised and they're like dabbing at this little hole there okay that tells me that this really must have hurt you whatever this was it really hurt your spirit you know because i'm seeing a hole it's almost like in your aura or something it hurt your spirit and here they are still continuing to dab you dab at you and to heal you and to bring in whatever it is that um you need and they're saying mastery right not everybody can go through what you went through that's a validation right there and uh, come over here leo um, I think I'm going to open this this reading up to whomever, Leo or whomever, because I feel like this reading could apply to more, right? Um, I'm seeing here that, you see, this is you. I don't know if you can see it, but your head, you had to learn by fire, they're saying. Baptism by fire, there's a wisdom that comes in. You see this? It looks like a tower moment to me, right? Tower moment that breeds a lot of wisdom, and it's almost like zzz. See this wisdom, this, this, this issue that happened here brought wisdom, and it's like zzz tower moment to create a new perception right a new perception in life look there are many perceptions that you could have taken in life m many paths many perspective perspectives but they wanted to guide you towards a specific one they wanted to give you direction look so that you specifically went down a specific path so if you're wondering i'm feeling some of you are like yeah but why did it have to be so hard i wish you had just told me i wish someone had just told me um but sometimes we need more than words, not saying it that way. And I'm also not saying this, but sometimes when, you know, spirit does go with something that hard, maybe they were using words, they were using tactics and strategies that were, were, were um, less invasive. They're saying that's it. Yeah. But maybe you weren't listening. You know, sometimes our pathologies, our lack, lack mentality, our low self-esteem, things like that cloud our better judgment and they, they override, they overpower our ability to perceive of of to perceive of um what spirit is trying to say to us in our lives right so i want you to think of it that way it's not that like spirit doesn't necessarily always go to like <clears throat> excuse me a lot of smoke here spirit doesn't necessarily just go to from zero to 60 right they'll you know start you off easy and if it if they need to escalate it a little bit then they they will all right but either way you're in healing mode right now i see that this situation for some of you maybe you think this situation is going to continue to plague you i just feel like um i feel like that's not the case in some cases some of you may still be watched like some people may still be watching you to make sure i hate to say this but um but to but to make sure you don't get back up so you know also to make sure that you don't retaliate whatever the situation is but they're saying to stay down, to stay down in wherever, however it is that they left you, to stay down. And because I'm seeing, let's let's put this here, let's bring this here. Oh, hard lesson. These are hard lessons, guys. Um, I'm seeing here, just for example, the case where I'm seeing this physical alteration. It's like, it's like you're you're down, right? And they're watching you from the perspective that we are watching this card, right? Because I'm seeing this you falling down and they're watching to see that you don't get back up, so to speak. But Spirit is saying, here's that perspective. This is the light. They're saying crawl. You don't have to get up. They're saying crawl into the light, okay? And it's like, zoop, then you're out of this, all right? Don't be like, I'm going to stand up and, you know, mm, I'm just saying don't do it. Okay, because in that case, for some of you, wh whoever this is, they may still be watching, right? Just stay down, kind of crawl into the light, and zzz, and they'll take care of it. Now, what exactly does that mean to stay down but crawl into the light? That means take the perspective shift that you need. Stay down, you know, recoup in bed, chill in the crib, you know, you know, chill at the crib. Think, think a lot. Think of everything you got. Um, you know, if you know those lyrics, it's from Cat Stevens, right? Father and son. What is, what do they say? Take your time. Think a lot. M forgive the voice, but think of everything you've got because, what was it? Your, what was it? You'll still be here tomorrow, but your dreams may not, right? So they're saying, take your time, relax, think about things and let this perspective as I'm seeing this fetal position let this perspective be born within you right and what does that mean that could be you stepping into something greater let's go back to this card that I'm seeing here amen gracias a Dios 
mastery, okay? I'm seeing mastery here. So you're, they're, they're fine tuning you at the same time as this is happening. Now, when you hear about these things where people have this huge incident in their life, you know, whether it's a, a, a something that leaves them paralyzed or handicapped or, or just, you know, they lose their house or just whatever, and they get touched, let's say, let's put it that way, and they come out with a mission. They're like, I lost my house. I never want anyone else to go through that again. So I started this organization or I did this or, you know, this is designed to give you direction. So the first step that you'll ask is like, Spirit, what is it that you want me to see? I'm here, I'm listening, surrender to it, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here for you guys. Know if this reading resonates with you, regardless of the circumstances, because there are more circumstances that I'm seeing here, right? That I just told you just some of the circumstances, they're very varied, right? Um, but it's designed to get you to think about stuff. It's designed to give you a direction. And I feel that when something that big happens, you walk away with so much information that you just need to process and unpack and that it's in those details that we get our message hold on let me open this up i want to make a note that i'm going to open this up to more than my beautiful leos okay there are two readings this week that this month that are like this virgo virgo is also designed for whomever is directed to it and Leo, yours is as well, okay, for this, for this. I think Leo, that was the same for you last, last month or something too, or last week. Anyway, whatever. Um, let's continue. I'm seeing here that for some of you, whoever, if there was an injustice, I see people following you. I see, I see people following you. Uh, if, if there was an injustice and people were following you, following you or whatever, I see that people are following them. So I definitely, I'm, I gotta be honest, I'm picking up some kind of gang activity. I'm, 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 I'm picking up some kind of group, group, like, I don't wanna say group mauling or group, like, just, ugh, it feels gross, but it's like a, 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 a beat down kind of like situation for one, maybe one of you or some of you. But again, the situations are varied, but if this resonates, this part, then you can expect it. If people were following you or they still are or they're like even if it's on paper like people taking your identity or things like that I feel that there are people onto them there are people actively working to arrest them to prosecute them to make them pay to bring justice to these people or, or this person okay hold on let me pull some cards off camera or on camera right here Yes, thank you. There it is. I see that transitioning and ending. There's a that is ending because I see, I see people working on that. They're really working on that. Okay, and I'm seeing that you may not be the only victim of this. Whatever this is, you may not be the only victim. But I feel that this this person or this group's reign of terror them relaxing in this in this way this mode this lifestyle it's coming to an end and it's so fe it feels so gross this energy it's like i want to hold it up to you guys to see it but my hand is pushing back like it's just gross so let's all take a moment and let's just send some loving energy to this whole situation just everybody <laughs> right let's take a moment and do that so that it can benefit from some positive energy so maybe a few seconds <sighs> Let's breathe. Yeah. Okay. All right. And of course, you guys can pause it and keep going. But I just saw surrounding everybody in this reading with beautiful golden, like it looks like a Fabergé egg. I love it. Golden indestructible Fabergé egg, golden white, you know, and just um, protecting everybody wherever they are, okay? It's not about doing bad to other people. It's about protecting. Because when we raise the vibration of something, it lifts up, of, it lifts out of that. Like right now, it's like this, but when we surround and we lift the vibration up by surrounding somebody or something in light, and speaking faith and joy and stuff, it literally, like they can't be at this level anymore. 
right? So that's where we're, we're trying to go, okay? Anyway, let's continue. Yeah, so I definitely see justice, like people actively working to comprehend, to understand, to look into this. So I want to say that um, in this case, even though you guys went through some a deep lesson, this, is, this looks like a hard lesson, I have to be honest. There are other people who are being um, pulled into this lesson as well because they, some people are being inspired to take a closer look at whatever this issue is and how they can do better, how things can be better for other people in the future. I see, oh, okay, I see you, okay, my little Leo or whoever's here. This is you. Um, I see you uh, moving forward positively. I see you, I gotta be honest, faking it till you make it a little bit, right? Like you rejoin society, you'll get back into stuff. This is a page of wands. So you, it's not you just jumping back out there. You'll be getting back out there. You'll be doing your thing, you know, um, uh, going through the motions. But I do see a little bit of faking it till you make it. And that's understandable. But I definitely do feel that there was something of huge value to be had here in this experience. Huge value. I mean, I can't stress it enough. I'm hearing, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling that you should have faith because I may, part of faking it till you make it means that maybe you may not see the value in it. And I don't blame you. When we go through something hard and somebody hurts us, right? Or something hurts us, it's hard not to have that be in that place of depression even if it's for a simple feeling like what well, somebody would want to do that to me right someone would want to take me out or someone would want to dispossess me of my home or somebody would want to reject me or just whatever but have faith and like see these four people these four holy men i see these as this is you going through these different stages of faith and surrendering and asking god those questions asking the universe those questions and asking why and receiving answers knowing that you'll receive answers but what they're saying is to have faith know that there was something of value that you received i'm hearing it, i'm seeing it here um but also um <laughs> also knowing that that information is going to come to you look at you you're standing right under the tree just wait for it to drop into this barrel okay and you may be feeling like you know you've been beat up you've been bruised a bit figuratively or literally you may feel that you no longer look the same you may feel that you no longer are the same person but that's what life is life changes us right it takes it takes us into different levels but in 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 changing we're actually directed to um a new way of living that a different kind of life that uh, a different part of life where we can reach new people we can have new ideas all sorts of stuff okay so um let's take a look at this second line give me a sec let me look at it okay excuse me Uh, give me one second. <laughs> All right, so I do see a lot of you in this uh, feeling of lack, like this lack mentality. I feel that a lot of you may have grown up that way with this lack. I think that part of that lack is, is maybe what may have caused you to get involved with whatever situation it is that you got involved in. I'm seeing some of you saying, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. And I want to say that with this group this, this, this month, whoever is attracted to this, I feel that you've been through such a situation that you're at a point where you're just so open to receive, like you're just open, you're in a state of receptivity. I'm seeing some of you definitely being out in like swampy areas or places where there are swamps and bayous or just whatever water, you know, whether it's ponds or whatever, I feel that in your life, in, the, in your past, there wasn't much structure. This obviously isn't going to be every, everybody, but I'm picking up on someone or some people. There, there wasn't much structure, and you 
I'm seeing you being grown, but you're still being kind of like operating at a lower level, like uh, like a maturity, like 14, but you're really like 23 or 24 or a little older, 28, right? And running the streets, you know, maybe getting involved with drugs, small time drug tra trafficking, right? What, whatever. Um, again, I saw some, you know, getting mixed up with the wrong people. I'm just seeing wrong situations and wrong people for some of you. Uh, I think this situation has caused a lot of tears, a lot of heartbreak, um, but I still feel like this sense of loneliness. It's not like I, I feel like who, whatever your situation, it's not like, um, like, oh, now the family's hurt. Maybe the family too, but I feel like it's, it's been like you're going through this alone. You know what I mean? Like you're always alone and like, that's what I'm feeling. Um, but I think that it's because maybe you didn't have this foundation or this safety or just whatever in your life as a child you were living this a structured life and you got if somebody may have promised you something or you were attracted to that thinking you could be part of something and you went to do that but i think that here here we are look i think that you took the wrong option i'm saying i'm i'm seeing it's a wrong option that was taken always remember that we have many options in life the crappy thing about it is sometimes based on the childhood that we've had our upbringing or just how we were raised we're not able to see all the options that we have we think we only have one or two options and so we get into that right um it's a it's a disservice really but you know sometimes we you know imagine us having kids right a lot of people have kids and then we, we we're not ready to be parents and you know then we're bringing these kids up without you know proper guidance and just all sorts of stuff um but that's that being said spirit is saying that there is uh there is a vision for you spirit is saying there is a life a better life for you they're going to be look yeah thank you they're saying they're going to be directing you to that and that was the whole point of this whole situation you went through it was just that hard enough to give you the, the direction that you need to literally naturally push you into wanting something better for yourself because they're saying you got to want it first you got to want it first and the problem that i'm seeing is here that you didn't know that you wanted it you didn't know that there were other options there so they're saying it's like mm, now the mentality is online okay it's like the mentality wasn't there the perception there it is the perception wasn't there to ask for something better for yourself okay and this goes for whoever is watching this video if it's resonating they're saying it might get, take some getting used to because you do have to go through some heartbreak related to this situation moving through it they're saying but they're saying moving through it oh god bless them they're saying moving through it is going to be like a firefighter moving through a fire right you're more than ready look at you on the right side that's you that's your higher self stepping in then you're more than ready and firefighters are trained and so are you you may not feel it on this conscious level but to survive this situation you're much stronger than you think okay so i'm seeing yes okay i'm seeing that maybe for one of you this is so specific um that i'm guessing one maybe i hate to say it this way but maybe you had to do something to somebody that you were not proud of. Maybe you joined a gang. Again, I'm seeing this gang. Maybe you had to beat somebody up that was in such a bad way. Maybe you had to kill them. Maybe shoot them. Maybe something. And I feel, because I'm seeing murder here. I got to be honest, guys. You know, I keep it real. Keep it real. For um, And I'm saying that in that it's almost like you got caught up in a situation. You had to do something. Uh, for this is some of you had this these actions whatever it was losing a house whatever I told you it earlier on done to you but I'm seeing that for some of you it's because you got involved with the wrong group and you 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 did something that hurt somebody else and I do see murder here so whether or not you were aware of it maybe they died later or something to that effect or maybe you killed their spirit something and I'm seeing that it just didn't sit right with you, obviously. Not obviously. For some people doing those, it does. It sits right with them because they're, they're kind of just so desensitized. But I'm seeing, see, it's just like, ding, in the back, this, this like, yellow in the back. It's like it was a wake-up call for you. So it woke you up, right? But not didn't wake up a lot of those people that you're surrounding yourself with, to be honest, okay? Um, but I'm seeing that the Spirit is saying you have it within you. You really have it within you. Look at you. You're going to be the page of wands for a little bit as you fake it till you make it, right? For some of you, it's fake it till you can get out of that situation. 
yeah i'm part of you guys still i'm still doing that but you see these this here this looks like a change of heart it looks like a change of heart that's happening for you so some of you are going to have to fake that you're still part of this mentality until you can get out of it for some of you you may not and for others of you, you may not feel like there was value in this situation but you're going to have to get st get started back on life get out there again and you're going to have to fake that feeling of success until you make it but I, whatever it is your situation is and that's the realm of a personal reading god bless um i see you faking it till you make it but this part of you that's your higher self and they're saying you have that inside of you already okay that's what's taking you through all of this and they're saying oh thank you they're saying that the shift has already started to happen. Look at her and adorned, male, female, doesn't matter. Look at that ad adorning, the knowledge is there. They've given you the key. The key now is to open this drawer and, and start to process. There's value in this event that happened, such value, okay? There really, really, really is a lot of value in that. But you know, I do see that you may have to work through some of the heartbreak that comes with it. Okay, so let's go to the bottom row here. I think we're almost done with your reading, okay? This is a hard lesson. I take my hats off it, to whoever this resonates with. Again, if it doesn't resonate with you, if it doesn't sound like you, it's not a case to be like, I'm gonna press unlike. No, because that's not what the unlike button is there for. The uh, unlike button is there to say that you didn't like something about it, like, oh, whatever. That, that's between you and yourself, right? But um, save the unlike button for that if it doesn't resonate with you that means that it's your reading is for somewhere else and so you don't actively contribute to taking this reading out of circulation you know through your unlikes anyway um let's continue anyway yeah. all right so let's continue uh yeah i just feel like the real value of this is going to be coming the real value of this is going to be coming. Uh, it's not, may not show itself fully. That's you. Cute. Looking at it may not show itself fully because you're in a wintry mode, but see, it's on the trees, ready to be shaken. Let's take a look over here again. Look, look at those trees ready to be shaken and you're going to be in a position to receive it. Okay. Yeah, before I move on, I do want to address that unlike again because I could feel myself getting mad about it. Because in a reading like this in particular, usually I don't care because people do what they want at home. But in a reading like this, if you could feel the energy that I feel reading this, it's just so important. Like I feel like this is such a huge life-changing thing for whoever this is. I'm, I'm talking if it's a physical thing laid up in the hospital, okay? Like that's what I'm saying. I just feel like it's a big thing. And I feel that sometimes when we're on YouTube, people write comments, they they just unlike, oh, I don't like this and unlike and you're at home enjoying a life of luxury and leisure compared to what other people are going through. And when you just hit an unlike without it be, for something as simple as like, well, this doesn't sound like me. I'm a Leo. This doesn't sound like me. Unlike what happens is you kind of skew the availability of this reading. And then thank you, Spirit. They're saying that's it. And uh, I heard another reader say that recently and I was like, I actually don't think so. I think spirit can actually bring the reading to whoever as they need it. But as I'm reading this here, I realize no. And I feel like I need to talk about this. Maybe I'm wrong and maybe there is something. Yeah, that, like they said. So I don't want you to take this reading out of circulation because it's not for you. But the way that YouTube readings work is either it's for you or it's not for you. And if it's not for you, then you move on to another reader and another reading and you do your diligence to find it, but not to unlike because it doesn't sound like you, okay? So not saying it that way because I feel a little anger about it and it could be my anger or it could be anger coming through me for this channeling. So, um, but either way, just I just want to put that out there, okay? So anyway, I, I keep meaning to do a how to use, a, a, an instructional video on how to, do YouTube readings and how to, as an audience member, how to approach, pick a card, how to do those things. Because I think a lot of people misuse them and they end up like getting confused and just all sorts of stuff. So anyway, but like when I have time, I'll do that. But just 
please take this strongly worded, <laughs> strongly worded <laughs> situation that I'm saying right now. All right, let's move on. So again, for you, if this situation resonates with you, I definitely see justice. I definitely see a payout, okay? If this is not money, there's gonna be some kind of karmic balancing, okay? There's definitely gonna be a karmic balancing as a result of this, because this, I have to tell you, this is one of, I would say one of the most off-putting readings I've done because I'm so angry about it. <laughs> All right, so just they, I, I, I feel like spirit wants you to know that justice is being served, that you may feel alone in the situation, but you're not, okay? You're not. Of all the readings to come through this, for this, uh, for my my reading, for this uh, this Leo collective is being addressed, and this whoever comes to this reading, okay? So, um, yeah, they're saying that regardless of the circumstances, whether it's property related, uh, uh, body related, gang related, whatever, your it's the realm of personal reading, they're saying that uh, you've survived. That's what they're saying. They, you've survived this situation and there's illumination for it. Um, where is that card? Uh, IDK, IDK where that card went. But anyway, um, I just see you. Yeah, here it is. <laughs> it's right here. See, the value of this is still on ice. You're probably not going to be able to, to see the true value of this because it's going to be hitting on more than one level for you. Multi-dimensional, right? Um, it, it's a huge lesson that I'm picking up here. And this is you still here. You, you're looking for this lesson. You're going to get it. There's, there's something here. And I think that as I read earlier, there are other people involved because I really feel that there are some legal issues involved here. Like, that's all I'm going to say. Like, there are some people who are going to pay for this. Like, I'm just feeling that. And, and usually I try not to be, I try to be neutral. And sometimes I don't know if I'm being, if I am being neutral and the energy is coming through is from what I'm feeling or if I'm just getting pissed about it. But I do feel that um, there does need to be some karmic balancing and that's going to happen they said they're saying you're going to have your day in court your time in court if, if whoever it is if you're if you're having a court situation you're going to have your day in court um they're saying they're saying that you're going to become stronger wow much stronger anytime i see this card <laughs> he's like yeah right and but he's doing it in style and look at that his red arm matches the red binding of this um, this rod that shows double enforcement. I see this, these flowers, this is on the side of right. This is, and this person, look at that form. They're cleaned up, but look at that form. This person is strong. They are not going to be thrown off their game. Uh, you may not feel that way right now. To, you know, whoever's watching this video and it's resonating, you may not feel that way now, but let me let you know, like, I'm just seeing that. Okay. And I'm seeing, thank you, oh, this makes me happy. I'm seeing that, like, this is partnership. Don't look at this as love. This is partnership. Whoever it is that you guys have been involved in with this situation, because any of the, whatever the situation is for you, again, that's, the, the details are for you, um, there, it involves other people, right? Whatever this is, I see that contract being broken. It's coming to an end, okay? So it's, it's, it's coming to an end because of a new perception that you're, you, you're going to be assuming. It's coming to an end because it's a karmic contract that's coming to an end, right? And you're going to be walking away from this situation. Really, really, really. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen this in a reading I've done where like these two people are literally toasting and saying, thank you, tsh, job well done. And then we're cutting this, this rope. This is a, this was a karmic contract designed to bring you a certain direction in life, certain perspective that leads you to a certain direction in life. But I think it's not only going to touch you, this person's going to go on and continue dealing with this situation. Uh, and where there, yeah, yes, I was going to say where there's murder involved, definitely prison time. I'm seeing that. I, I literally heard the word sing sing. <laughs> I'm seeing that like Alcatraz, Rikers Island, whatever. I'm seeing prison. Okay. But I don't see that that for you okay but I'm seeing you but at the same time I feel that there will be repercussions that you will have to deal with as well if, if, if you were yeah if you were involved in that and you 
yeah, I'm seeing that. Now, maybe, maybe for some of you, there may be some time that needs to be served if the murder part applies to you, right? But there may not be. Like, I'm just not sure. But if it's not a murder thing and you had other situations, because uh, I saw a lot in this card, uh, I do see you still walking away from the situation. There's your guide, super cute. And the, your guide, it looks like the guide is trying to cheer you up. They're like, yeah, well, we came through that all right, right? You know, they're trying to cheer you up. And you're on to the next thing. See this break in the contract. See these? This could be anything. Anything is open for you. Yeah, but there might be some things that you might have to deal with depending on what your specific situation is. That's a rel the realm of a personal reading, of course, right? But um, much better position than, than where you were, okay? So I feel that I, this is the end of the reading, but I feel that if this reading resonates with you, I do have to say this is a very, very hard lesson to learn. However, the, the sheer amount of value that comes for it, from it doesn't even apply to you alone. It, apply, it applies to other people involved in this situation, not just the other people on the other side of you, like, but also people like law enforcement, uh, anybody, whoever is related to this, this is something that has a lot, you know, it's just a lot that, that's in it, but you will get what you need from it and you will move on, you'll move on. And just as I said that, boing, <laughs> I see this card waiting. This is the fool beginning a new chapter in life. It's beautiful. Beginning a new chapter in life. Yeah, that's so cute. Look at this. Because I see these cards off camera. Can you guys see this? These are both the King of Wands. And that's certainty. This is this period of life you're in. This is huge. See this guide and spirit? That's your higher self in the back. This is you moving. This is you being moved. This is a huge time in your life right now. But I'm seeing the King of Wands becoming the king of wands again. So there's going to be a, a time when you come back to yourself and you're like, wow, I'm start, finally starting to recognize myself again. But take a look at these two king of wands. This guy's all sloppy. He's like, you know, I, I, again, I'm picking up a, I, I want to say this, I'm picking up a Mexican gang situation. It doesn't have to be Mexican, but I'm, I felt Mexican earlier in some connection. If it's not gang, it's something, okay? Where was the card? I saw that here. Don't ask how, but I just saw it here. Don't, don't ask. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's spirit eyes that I'm using, right? But either way, but look, for every, all of you reading, listening to this, if this resonates with you, this is you. I feel that like you're, you're going through life, you're sloppy or whatever. You're, but look at this King of Wands now. Look at that cleaned up energy. Look at the effort. Look at that seven looking thing. It's not seven. It's really, you know, belt and this, but it looks like a seven. This is get, this is me. This is you getting your life together. This is your life together now. And you're still the king of wands. You're still moving with energy, but look at that. You're more like, mm, now. Okay. So it's just a bet you, if you're ever scared that you're never going to be the same again, who, who's ever the same after any day. Right. But if you're worried about that, like, I'm never going to be the same again. I'm never going to laugh again. I'm never going to tell jokes again. Things like that. Like, that's just not the case. All right? Yeah, you're serving humanity right now. Thank you. You're serving humanity right now by going through this. Okay? So, um, just keep your head up. Yay. All right. So, um, Leo or whoever this reading is for, I just wanted to say yes. It's a hard lesson. We all applaud you. Spirit is great. You guys are great. Um, just keep going. And, uh... There's going to be justice in this situation, whatever the situation is, okay? And, and may I just say, align yourself with spirit. Align yourself with spirit. However that means to you, if it's religious, if it's not religious, if it's meditating, if, meditating, if it's um, reading. You know, I have a friend who like reads quotes all the time online. Like she just sends, she literally blows up my phone with quotes uh, when she's going through tough times and it's helpful, right? It's words of wisdom. So whatever it means to you to, um, get, get that healing going on, do it. And I literally see that God is taking care. God is taking care of this. Okay. All right. Ah, so I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to say also, I think that this card where I'm seeing murder as well, maybe, I'm um, sorry, <laughs> it's still coming. I, I see, again, for some of you, you were, you, you were the one 
being attacked for some of you you or forced to attack somebody else like it's as part of this agreement or agreement karmic agreement okay a karmic agreement or you know just yeah karmic agreement okay i just want to lay that's there to help you allay your your sadness karmic agreements are real some you don't think people just murder you know like or you just murder people it's always it always exists as a pot exists as a possible um karmic agreement between you and that soul i know some people are like what it's true okay <laughs> if i can read this and it, it makes sense to you then maybe i'm what i'm saying is, is the truth here as well okay um but i'm also seeing that maybe some of you may have lost a friend to murder or something to that effect there's something there but remember this reading is not just about murder it's about anything any situation that is causing you to have this dynamic of feeling like it hurt a lot and you've got to heal and now you have a new direction in life but spirit has put it all together in this one reading because the dynamic oops is very similar okay so either way just oh yeah and look boom message okay so spirit oops oh wow i did not mean to pull this card <laughs> but confirmation thank you spirit they're saying this is a confirmation of that message Thank you. But I meant to actually pull this card. <laughs> They're saying to have strength, okay? They're saying take it one step at a time, one day at a time. Know that you're fully um, protected. I want to say promulgated, but they're, you're fully protected, okay? You are who you are for a reason, they're saying. So please love yourself and get through this so that they're saying so that we can see that smile again. Aww. All right. Okay, so guys, mwah, I'm going to end this reading here and now. Uh, I've got to go, but you guys know how to reach me. If you'd like a personal reading, you know where to find me. But please do know that um, you can connect with your spirit guides and angels. They're sitting right next to you. <laughs> um, literally. <laughs> literally. And just pray to them and ask them for help and guidance. And even if you just look at them in a mirror and say, all right, guys, what do you want me to do? I'm listening, right? And trust me, they'll let you know. <laughs> All right? Okay. So thank you guys. And I will see you guys later. Bye.